Welcome back to the show. Well, finances, it's a word that's been a top topic, and especially as we work against inflation. And with uncertainty, it's important to have experts with you along the way to navigate it all. So thankfully, this morning we have Delta Community Credit Union CEO, Hank Halter. Hi, Hank. Hi. Very good to see you, Kara. It's, Thanks for having us back. It's so great to see you. Um, I know a lot is going on in the economy. We've been talking a lot. I think last time you were here, you and Christine mm -hmm. talked a lot about the volatility in the economy. There's been the news on inflation, bank failures, rising interest rates. Um, so what is your take on all this and what's important for our viewers to know right now about their finances? Sure. We, I think you hit all the, the key points. Inflation is with us. It's high. Uh, prices are continuing to rise every day. But I think what's important for consumers is to think about their finances right now, both in the short term, but also the long term. You know, in the short term, um, I call it a saver's market. If you have some money that you can set aside that you're not spending now, you can find some great rates. You can find a high yield savings account, a money market, a CD. You know, at Delta Community Credit Union, we have CDs as high as 5% now. Wow. So you can set some money aside, you can get a great rate. But if you want to borrow, it is high and lenders are tightening their, their credit criteria. Um, so what I tell consumers is if you're thinking about a new purchase that you're going to have to finance, maybe a car, a home, or maybe a large uh, home project, um, really think twice about can you hold off on that uh, just for a while because rates will come down at some point so the cost to borrow will be lower in the future. Um, and if you can hold off a little bit, you're going to save yourself in the long run um, in terms of some financing costs. Okay, really good to know and good to know 5% on a money market fund. If you on have a CD. A, yeah, yeah. On a CD. Mm -hmm. If you have a little Absolutely. bit of money, put it there. Okay, great insights, Hank. I love that. All right, but what about the bank failures? And yeah. the news is kind of scaring us a little bit about that. So is that something yeah. that me as a consumer, should I be worried about that? Well, I think all consumers should know who their financial partner is. Okay. But I can tell you the bank failures that occurred over the past couple months, those banks were really different compared to your traditional bank and very different compared to a credit union. You know, Delta Community Credit Union, like all credit unions, were not for profit. So we don't have third party share owners. We don't have earnings per share goals that, that third party share owners require. Um, everything we do is focused around the needs of our member. Mm. So when you think about that, our, we're focused on those members' needs. We're conservatively managed. Our investment strategies are conservative as well. So we're always operating from a position of financial strength and stability. Okay, I love that. That's such an important note to make because mm -hmm. I think a lot of people aren't really aware, myself included, of what the difference between banks and credit unions are. Um, and you don't have shareholders like banks, as That's you right. just mentioned. Yeah, That's which right. is also an important thing to do. Um, Hank and I were actually talking in the commercial break, and I hope you don't mind me asking you yeah. this, but I have a 10-year-old, a 7-year-old, and a 3-year-old, and you said that you even have programs at Delta Community Credit Union that work with children and educating them on money, which is something yeah. I didn't have, and I would have loved to have known about that when I was young. So talk about yeah. that a little bit. Sure. So Delta Community is not for profit. All the profits we generate, we return back to our members. So some of the ways we do that, we offer higher dividend rates on deposits, lower rates on loans. We generally don't have fees. But we also use those monies to invest back in our business. And one of the ways we do that investment is in communities across Metro Atlanta. The National Credit Union Youth Month was in April. Mm -hmm. We helped 3,000 young people get kick-started on their first savings accounts. Wow. Um, then in May, graduation's upon us. Since the year began, we've invested $35,000 in awards to individuals seeking their first undergraduate degree. And then in June, we're focusing on families. So our financial education center is offering courses that are focused on families and families' needs for money management. With that, we have something what we do each year is called cool cash camps for kids. We teach kids about the basics of money management. So they get an introduction to money. What is money about? Um, some of the older kids um, learn about there's credit. What does credit mean? Um, but it's all geared towards kids and youth. Um, and, and we find that very helpful to them. Like all of the courses in our financial education center, yeah. they're free. They're open to members and non-members alike. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to bank at Delta Community to attend our free education, including those cool cash camps. Oh, nice, perfect. I love yeah. that so much. I think it's so important. It's something that we don't learn in school, but maybe we certainly should. So you're kind Absolutely. of filling that gap. We really appreciate that. All right, Hank, tell us um, how someone can learn more about Delta Community Credit Union if sure. they're watching. Uh, Delta Community Credit Union, it's open to anyone that lives or works <laughs> in one of the 16 metro Atlanta counties. So all you have to do is go online to deltacommunitycu.com or you can visit one of our 32 metro Atlanta branches, full service branches to learn more.